Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Fallout Shelter on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Fallout Shelter and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Fallout Shelter. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else mates, to start we need to launch our main browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to the next URL I have highlighted in green color. There you are seeing it on the screen. There is no need to type that URL, simply because I added a clickable link in the description of this video and as well in the first pinned comment. We arrived there on our own internet site of Usitility, where we have an in-depth overview on how you can obtain Fallout Shelter on laptop or computer. We search lower a tad and simply click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on this link, we get to the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is just the Android emulator that we are going to use to play Fallout Shelter on our PC. It is now obvious that we get a number of pros of preferring using that emulator. Then, we are ready to start downloading the Fallout Shelter by clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green. We then click on that button. Of course, the download takes no time at all. Voila! Here is located the download. It is a file we have to execute. What we have to do is to run the executable file, ok, then we have to click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the system. We clicked yes. I minimize the internet browser to view the installation software significantly better. The installation software is really easy to understand. It contains two possibilities, install and setup path. I will talk about what setup path does indeed. We basically just click on it. And then we realize that we they got here the path where in fact the emulator can be set up. If we choose to vary this folder we are required to click on this browse option. And now we decide on another folder and set up the emulator exactly where we choose. To keep it simple, just set it as it is. I simply click back. Therefore I just click on install. Fantastic. The install starts and it is going to go forward along with the download of those MB that happens to be shown on our screen. The time you save it on your machine, it is likely to be a bit more or less megabytes. The download rate could go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, based on your internet and depending on the performance of the emulator web servers. Today they are progressing extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator happens to be launched successfully. As you can discover, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar that will move forward to the right when it comes to the finish, the emulator can be started for the first time. Indeed, the emulator was already started, here for the very first time. Before we keep going, as you will notice, it has made a couple of icons here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon is going to be the one we're concerned with. Every time we are planning to launch Fallout Shelter on our desktop or laptop, we twice mouse click on this specific app icon and consequently start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we make the next phase, that is a must-have, and which is to begin browsing the Google Play Store. And we'll simply click on Play Store. As you can view the Google Play is presented. There we are required to log on. Presently as soon as we're right here, we must definitely conduct this following step which is imperative. Therefore just click on, sign in. Presently it shows, checking info. It may once in a while get stopped at checking info, and so it isn't going to continue. In this case, you could attempt to connect to your account after a number of hours and it may very likely be solved. At this time we can type our email and password. The email really needs to be a Gmail email address as well as its associated password. For example you can utilize the same exact email you're using at this moment in your own YouTube account. Therefore I will submit my info and I'll revisit when I have done it. Voila! Information inserted. Find out Google welcoming us and supplying us their twos. We would approve all of them simply by clicking, I agree. Following that, it make us possible to back up to the Google Cloud. You might let it select it it's going to make a backup of your data files on that device to Google Drive. I won't select it, you can make use of this option if you prefer. We click accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is launched without need to open it manually and completely on its own. To set up the app, we would need to get to the emulator desktop for Android by left clicking that icon designated green color. At this point that we are exploring the desktop of that emulator, we notice that we come with there the install app option. 
We simply click on the button. On this page we come with the video game. Let's then click right here on the install link that I'm just showing now in green color. This action will launch the setup. Right now it would download on your laptop or computer and set up the game app. It typically takes some time or perhaps it may possibly be almost immediate. That all relies on our own connection to the internet. This has as of now ended setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by pressing the following option I'm highlighting in green, in order to run Fallout Shelter for the very first time. You are at present on the emulator desktop, and then we're going to click on this fresh Fallout Shelter software icon that's been generated. Your video game is started for the very first time. So there we end up with it, I could press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to talk about the volume of that emulator. This is right here. We have got the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume. This manner we do not rely on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of your emulator. And also to take pleasure in the experience to the max, we should switch on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This one is actually the very first one, we mouse click on that app icon which I'm showing in green color. Thus the monitor is maximized, experiencing one border on top, one on the right side and the last one at the bottom. In case that we really want to launch the app using all the screen, we select this particular software icon. And we'd by now be experiencing and enjoying the gameplay in 100% screen setting. To stop the 100% screen functionality, click the F11 key. And we'd by now play in standard display setting. At this point, I am on the way to clarify you the computer keyboard mapping and that is certainly quite exciting. That strategy we will likely be capable to operate the game application a lot more easily. The first point is to mouse click this software icon. And at this time there you will be able to complete the appropriate configuration settings. I most certainly will put the standard configuration, however if you plan to improve this, you may very well do this with no problem. Clearly, the emulator is fully in our language. Once in a while it occurs that your emulator is presented in the erroneous language, for instance, in Mandarin. And as a consequence to place it in the correct language we browse here to the cogwheel. And thus right here within various other options, we just click the language drop down. We may very well go for the language we wish, Spanish, Japanese, and so forth. As soon as the language is decided, we should save, the emulator will reboot, as well as the game application, next time we run it, would of course be in the preferred language. So now, there's another thing that we need to take into consideration, and this is that we will get an email telling that a completely new machine has been connected with this Google account. It will certainly check with us if we're the ones who have associated with that electronic device. Yup, we really should not be troubled, considering that the emulator is acting as an Android device. So you can determine which electronic device is currently being emulated, we return right here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. Be sure to browse here to the, model, selection. And right here we learn that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for my video tutorial. I anticipate you appreciated it, especially that everyone thought it was helpful. In this case, bring it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe, and I will be happy to answer all your feedback, issues or ideas, put them in the comment field below. You could possibly also comment things on my Twitch channel, I do live streams every now and then, you get it listed below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Simply click on any of the training videos that are showing up on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the future video game videos. Bye.